Hey, Nick Tana here with Street Racer. So, if you ever want to know how to choose different colors, just the the R1 and L1. But, yeah, no, um, this game, another part of my collection, uh... <laughs> There's eight colors, I think, for each character because it's an eight-player game. You can't unlock the rabbit with the, the with the code. Um, all right. So I'm gonna be playing as I I don't really know her fucking name, but yeah, no, this uh, game is a little unusual. I thought it'd be perfect for my channel because I did used to play this a lot. Um, with someone, of course. This is a game that's a lot more fun with, with people. I just gotta remember my, uh, accelerate. And there's, like, attacks and shit. And I think my, uh, character, like, the whole point of this is I can charm people and be like, hold on, let me get up to somebody. Yeah, see? And they go all, I don't know, I think they lose control of the car for a hot second. But holy shit, this game though, um, it can get pretty anxiety ridden in the sense of like, it goes pretty fast. Passing the bomb to somebody else. Um, it's strangely like there. I can't really describe it for like how this game really like operates in the sense of like the the environment. Like I, I swear I've played something like it a long ass time ago. Like it wasn't weren't there like little like not I don't know if they were like little video game car things that like. You had like a little steering wheel and it was hooked up to something. Of course, I think you only had one racer and it was like a race car and then it like lit up and sh I fucking gotta look it up. But it plays like that with the, um, the odd, um, the odd map, I guess you could say. Sorry, my commentary is a little off. I was like really stuck in my mind with trying to figure out what the fuck I was talking about. So I gotta look that up. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, no, this game is definitely a lot more fun with people. Certainly a rush. Like, if you have someone smacking you in the head and stuff, because I recall, like, when I was playing with, um, the person I was referring to, we would just, like, we didn't always mean to, like, smack each other, but it was sort of like we were trying to work together in a way, but at the same time, like, at the same time, it was more like, Oh god, which one are you? And I'm trying not to smack you. <laughs> but I think he played as the, um, the humanoid, uh, Papa Smurf looking motherfucker. And I think, yeah, I think everyone has, like, a special attack when, um... Oi! There we go. Who the hell's doing that? Oh, I forgot I had that, too. Because there's, like, a... I think it's a 360 move. You have this quick one, and then you have this one. And then you have your special. Semi-fighting game car race.
if I recall, the next race will be my favorite, um, favorite track. Very 90s, it's, it's, I really, I do have a soft spot for this game. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of fun when you actually, uh, like, know, like, the little tricks and ins and outs, because it seems like it has some, some depth to it in some form, but it's certainly entertaining. I don't know how fun it is just sitting and listening to me talk playing it, but nevertheless. Nope. Hold on, I think it might be the next one after this. Because there is a haunted level. It's uh, the Frankenstein... Uh, It's the Frankenstein one. I'm not really sure what camera I like. I kind of like this one, but the close-up one might be a little more efficient for, like, sight-wise, but I like seeing a little bit of what's behind me. Mm. I don't have any idea what the fuck those stores do, though. Uh-oh. You dick. I mean, the tracks seem pretty quick, so I'm guessing that's why this game feels really fast. Feels more like an feels more like an arena than anything. <laughs> Fuck it. Let me just pop all of these boosters. I'm like, holy shit! I had like. What, seven? Will I eventually get to my favorite level? Jesus Christ. Get out of the tree? Oh, for Christ's sake.
Okay, come on. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, fuck. Ah, it's okay. Oh no, it's my uh, stage. Holy shit. Okay. This has the Mario Kart beach feel to it. How do I, wait, can I bounce? I have a feeling this game has a little bit more of a, an, an interesting origin to it. I forgot about it, but I do believe I watched something on it. I can't tell if it started as like a different arcade game and just kind of like changed a little bit when it came to uh, PlayStation. I don't know the origin, but I do believe it has some interesting history. So if you do like this game and kind of want just maybe a fun watch, look up some of the history on it or just gameplay in general. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, I'm sure, but... Ah! Oh, I just have to... Oh, okay. So, jump is, uh... Just up on the D-pad. There's a lot of fucking buttons. Holy fuck. Well, that worked for me, thank you. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. Okay. I mean, I'm not really much safer here, but I would hope that they would give me a little bit more leeway. After all, it is a game. And it, it's, it sounds like a remix. I mean, there has to be, like, some sort of, like, cover or something. I mean, if you like the music, maybe there is, this track is something you should look at. Again, it's... 90s, so I mean, they had it a soft spot for 90s music. <laughs> Games, what am I talking about? There's a lot of 90s stuff I have a soft spot for, even though, like, there was a lot of horrendous shit, but nevertheless, at least in games and some things, there's some memories in that for me, at least. gonna just boost all around here because like holy fuck why not i'll just run into trees and shit oh my god that's gonna be my problem franken dick god damn it ah oh, shit no worries I came in second. Fuck it.
Alright, this is Nick Tana. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great week.